Hello, welcome back to my kitchen and to tonight's episode of things I thought were a good idea when I decided to do them and now I'm thinking at 7.32 at night probably not a good idea after all because I'm tired. I was chatting with Nat today about things that I used to bake. I used to do a lot of baking and not so much recently. Let me just tie my hair back because it's already annoying me. Okay, used to do a lot of baking, not so much in recent years because of dieting. But I used to make something called Melting Moments. Now I'll show you how long ago I used to make them. This is the recipe book. Look at the fablon on the cover of that. Isn't that the most 80s fablon you've ever seen? This is the recipe book that I started writing in when I was a teenager, young mum at home with Anthony, whatever. Look at the ancientness of my writing. So <laughs> in this book, there are some that I wrote in over the years and some that I just stuck in out of magazines. Uh, this is a photocopy from somebody else's recipe book. I don't even know whose. Look how hard the sellotape is around the side. Been there a long time. This particular recipe here, Melting Moments, used to be Natalie's favourite. So when we were talking about this earlier today, she was like, oh, you should make some of those. I was like, if I can find the book, I'll make them. So I have preheated my oven, 350 degrees F, Gas Mark 4, it's about 180 C, which is what I've got. I've got C, C is Celsius, isn't it? I've got about 180 on there. And I've already measured out my ingredients. So I'll show you what I've got. This one has got five ounces of self-raising flour and a pinch of salt just whisked together. At the back there is three ounces. It should have been caster sugar. I didn't have any caster sugar, so it's just ordinary sugar. It will be fine. It might be a little bit more granulated, but it'll be fine. This is one beaten egg, but I only actually need half a beaten egg. And that's why I've done it in the little measuring cup so that I know I only need to use 25 mils of that instead of the 50 mils that the whole egg is. This is one and a half ounces. I'm sorry we're, we're, we're in ounces, but that's what this recipe's in. One and a half ounces of margarine, the recipe calls for. Now I've got spreadable butter and it'll have to be fine. And two and a half ounces of lard. Lard, would you believe, in 2024. And then this is some cornflakes. The recipe actually calls for porridge oats. You're supposed to roll them porridge oats. We never have, we've always used crushed cornflakes. So that is just some cornflakes crushed up in a bag using the rolling pin. Let's get on and make them. So the method for this is really quite simple. You're going to cream the fats together. So this is the lard and the margarine in the bowl here. And I'm creaming them with a wooden spoon. You could do it much easier with an electric mixer. I simply could not be bothered to find my electric mixer. And I remembered after I'd started that this is much easier if you wet a tea towel and then wring it out and put that under your bowl. It stops your bowl from sliding around on the counter. So I'm beating together the two fats uh, creaming method, so basically until they're very well combined and starting to look a bit fluffy. I then added in the sugar and creamed again until the sugar was well combined and again everything begins to look nice and fluffy again. Now the magic of editing did shorten that process quite a lot, it took a little bit of doing and as I said it would have been quicker with a mixer. In goes half my egg and a little spoonful of flour just to help that egg combine and then we're going to mix that all in together as well. And then when that's nicely combined we're going to add the rest of the flour and I did that in two batches just to make it easier to mix in without causing a cloud of flour all over the kitchen. With that nicely mixed together, I emptied my cornflakes out into a dish and then you're going to roll your mixture into balls and then roll it in the cornflakes to coat it nicely. So I'm just pulling off lumps of the mixture, rolling it into balls and then rolling it in the cornflakes, squashing squash them back into balls and then onto the tray. This mixture made 10 almost even sized balls. They weren't quite accurate, but you could weigh it if you wanted to be absolutely precise. And you need to space them out nicely on your baking tray because they will spread during cooking. Okay, and now into the oven for 15 minutes, apparently. They've been in about five minutes and this is how they're looking. As you can see, they spread out quite a lot 
I probably should have spaced them better on the tray. Okay, they've had about 13 minutes because our oven can be a bit fierce, so I'm going to take them out and see if they're ready. If not, they can go back in. <laughs> Definitely need a couple more minutes. There we go, they're out. I was going to leave a bit longer, and then Natalie reminded me that they stiffen up a bit once you get them out. Lol, Vicar. Hi. <laughs> Give them a couple of minutes to cool down, and then Natalie will get her taste test. Okay, Natalie is here for the taste test. Wave, Nat. But she doesn't want to be on camera because. I just got out of the shower. She just got out of the shower. <laughs> oh, so good. A bit louder. So good. So good. Apparently, they're a win. These are, these are literally a piece of my, not my childhood exactly, but you know, a piece of my history. They are amazing, hang on. Family's coming, we can't reply them. Mm. <laughs> they're really soft and spongy on the inside, cornflake crust, they're so good. Are you willing to be on camera? Yeah. Okay, Nat wasn't. Can you come into the camera? Nat, Nat didn't want to be on camera, because she's just got a shower. The family's never fried them. Oh, good. Yeah, really good. Mm. Yeah. You can make those again. <laughs> I can make those again. Soft, spongy centers. Why am I so red in the face? I think it's just the light. <laughs> like a soft spongy center and then a crunchy outside from the cornflakes. So good. Bit crumbly. Yeah, good. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll put the recipe and the um, details on screen and in the description box for you. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.